for a stargazer, there are many fascinating things to look for in the night sky. The most spectacular sight must surely be this, a comet. Comets this bright are few and far between, so being lucky enough to see one is a real treat. But what exactly is a comet? Where do they come from? And where do they go? To answer those questions, we need to leave the telescope behind and get up close. There are a few key features that set comets apart from ordinary space rocks. First of all, they have layers. What we see here is the solid core layer called a nucleus. It's a mashup of rock fragments, dust particles, and ice. This isn't just familiar water ice, although there is some of that present. We also see exotic ices that exist as gases on Earth, but the cold of deep space has frozen them solid. They include methane, carbon dioxide, and ammonia. Overall, the nucleus may measure 100 meters to a few kilometers across. Most comets fly in highly elliptical orbits around the Sun. They start out beyond the orbit of the planet Neptune and come in closer, perhaps even crossing the Earth's orbit. Then they accelerate around the Sun and head out again, only to return many years later. The famous Halley's Comet completes one such orbit every 75 years or so. Some comets take hundreds or even thousands of years to complete their orbits. As it gets closer to the Sun, a comet speeds up and warms up. The warming is caused by radiation that shoots out from the Sun in all directions. Solar radiation includes light and heat. At a certain point between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, the heat is enough to transform all those ices into gases. Since a gas takes up much more volume than its solid version, it explodes outward. This comet is now venting a mixture of gases from its nucleus, as well as streams of dust and ice fragments. It is producing a dispersed layer called the coma, which is the equivalent of an atmosphere. Faster and further the comet flies. As it gets even closer to the sun, the effects of solar radiation strengthen. All that radiation can now exert a force on particles in the coma. Heavier particles trail behind, marking out the comet's orbit. Lighter particles are blown into a long tail. It's this tail that gets stargazers so excited. It is bright because it is mostly made of highly reflective ice fragments. It always points directly away from the sun, no matter which way the rest of the comet is moving. What's really impressive is that it can grow to over 150 million kilometers long. That's the same as the distance between Earth and the sun. There is an interesting contrast between the solid nucleus and gaseous tail of a comet. While the tail is bright and lightly colored, the nucleus is usually very dark and difficult to pick out. A few comets have been visited by robotic probes in recent years, and the probes have shown us what is going on. It seems that when ices warm up and vent from the surface of the nucleus, they leave behind black organic compounds, a bit like tar. Scientists are keen to study these compounds because they may include essential chemicals for life. Since frozen water is also found here, there's growing support for the idea that a comet delivered the ingredients needed for life to develop on Earth. By looking at these extraordinary objects, could we actually be looking at our own origins? Is this where we really came from? Questions like this are the subject of ongoing research, so I can't give you the answers yet. Hopefully we will know more in the near future. In the meantime, you can check out some of my other space related videos to learn more about our solar system and the wonderful objects within it. Thank you for watching, see you next time.